So hi, welcome to Home Screens. This is the podcast all about our home screen setups and apps. Um, this week, I have the first recurring guest, having been on the previous iteration, and an internet friend, it sounds a bit weird, that I've actually met in person. So, um, hi, Matt. It's Matt, Matt Birchler on this week. Hi, Matt. How are you? Hey, I'm doing splendid. Thank you for having me. Um, I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to be a returning guest. Cool. Well, well welcome back. Um, and you probably know Matt already, I'd imagine, if you follow me or follow this podcast. But he, he's, he does a lot of really cool projects that i got to be honest, I'm quite jealous of sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, main main thing really I know, I, I know known Matt from was his uh, blog, Birch Tree. But also he's doing a really good podcast now, co-hosting it with Chris and Nilian over at um, Comfort Zone for Mac Stories. And some really great videos as well on his YouTube channel, A Better Computer, including the um, I Like Your Vision Pro one, the, the, the <laughs> latest one. And it's... I was never, they're available in the UK. I've not even had a demo yet, but the thing that mm -hmm. got me thinking was what you said about um, personas, sharing space with, with personas, doing doing like board games and stuff. That's one thing I could really see me wanting to have a go at. So um, yeah, I am not, not enough yeah. to, for me to spend all the money on one yet, but if it comes down, I could be tempted to get one. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I, I do think, I know we're not, not, not talking about the Vision Pro no, today, no. but I do think doing the demo, if you can do the demo in store, it is cool because it's an awesome product for 30 minutes. And then once you get past that and want to do more, it's a little dicey, <laughs> but it, yeah. it can be a very fun 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I have been, again, I need a quick, quick diversion onto Vision Pro just because it's in the UK now. But I have been in the, in the last time I was in, in the store, there was someone doing a demo. And I was mm. stood looking at the, you know, in the back where they have like the accessories and looking at cases and all that kind of stuff. Oh, sure. And he was, he was on, he was facing me and I could see that he was looking at me with the UI around me because I walked and all I could see was him tracking me with his, I can't remember if there were eyes sticking through or not. I can't remember if the eyes are a thing that set up on the demo, but he was, mm. he was obviously just looking at me and the UI was moving or something. I don't know. It was strange. That's very funny. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll do it. I'll, I will do it and I'll try and do it over the next few weeks to, to write about, but um so let's get onto your home screen then. So I'm assuming in terms of the device, I know it's an iPhone and I know you, you've had the 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max. Is that right? I have, yes. Which one is this? This is the normal Pro, not the Max. Oh, okay. So I recently dropped back down to the normal sized one. Okay. There's a lot to unpack there potentially, but yeah, I... Uh, yeah, it, I'll leave it for a blog I, post. I, I I'd am... imagine I don't, I don't want to take any exclusives <laughs> off of the blog for this. Yeah, um, I, I'd say I prefer the smaller size, yeah. but I really value the battery. And there are situations where I like the five X zoom. So I'm yeah. praying that soon we get a better battery life and that five X camera in the normal one, so I can just be happy and not be stuck between two worlds, which I know you feel as well with phone sizes. <laughs> I, I'd love something in between the mini and the pro. So like a four, um, the kind of iPhone 10 size. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my perfect size. It's like, I can't even remember what it was now. Maybe 4.7. Yeah. I don't remember, but 5.7. Oh, it's like 5.7, I think. That's it. Another 6.1. Yeah, something smallest. like that. But that was a perfect size for me. Oh, it's hard um, to remember. So, okay, so this is iPhone 15 Pro. I, um, just, mm -hmm. We'll start with the lock screen um so if, do you want this this talk about the wallpaper so i'll include the link in the description the podcast um description this is one that i coincidentally i've actually using as well at the moment so where did you grab this one from matt yeah so this is um from a wallpaper pack from ben mccarthy uh who's the developer behind the camera app obscura and i just really like it i like the texture of it i it it's perfect. I, 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 I am someone who changes their wallpaper relatively frequently. Like every month or two, I'll change my wallpaper. And this is one that's stuck for many months at this point. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a real big fan of it. Yeah, it's, very, it's like you said, it's, it's, the, it's the fact that it has got a little bit of grain to it. And it's, it's, it's a bit dark. It's not a very, it's not a, and purposely not meant to be a very sharp or 
sharp's the wrong word, but you know, a colourful or, or vibrant image. It is meant to be a little vibrant, bit more muted. Yeah. yeah. So you know, I, I really mm -hmm. enjoy that one too. Um, obviously, I can see you're running iOS 18, which we'll we'll get into in a second. Um, I can see is that the Apple weather or is that carrot weather there? The the, the first small widget. Yeah, so this is actually Apple weather, and okay. I use it because I find Apple, I suspect it's them favoring their own apps, but it seems to update quicker <laughs> than yeah. third-party weather widgets, and so that's what I use um, on here to just get the current temperature. Yeah, I, I agree with the refresh, yeah, because I've I based off the last um, episode talking to Jason, I went and tried Hello Weather. It's a very nice app. Yeah. It's a very, it very is. nice app. But it wasn't updating straight, you know, like this, like you said, exactly. It's not updating straight away. But, you know, we won't start any conspiracy theories. But <laughs> <laughs> and Apple Watch is your next one. That's battery life, is it, on the Apple Watch? Yeah, so that's the battery widget. And it's uh, I actually have it on whatever the automatic mode or smart mode is. So okay. like right now, when I took the screenshot... My Apple Watch was connect was the only device connected, so it shows me that battery life. But oh. when I put AirPods in, it'll switch to AirPods, I'm with uh, which is cool. Yeah, that's, I, I I did use that one for a while, um, but I think in the in the end, I I just put the the kind of the small battery widget on my home screen, mm -hmm. just on a you know on a um, stack. Um, torch. So I can see this is where I was talking about iOS 18. I can see that you've replaced the camera. Um, icon button you know bottom right with the remote which again is uh, that's i've done exactly the same thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so at the bottom i yeah I, i've got the flashlight because i do that is a great place for that and it's very yeah. useful on a regular basis for me and yeah i never really used the camera button down there i used to use it before the iphone 15 uh, with the action button, and now I just have the action button launch my camera. Same. So I've taken the camera icon out of my home screen. I've taken it out of uh, the lock screen. Like I just use the action button one hundred percent of the time. So that works great for me. Cool, great minds think alike. Because this morning I wrote a blog post about that very thing, where I'd realized I was looking. I was looking for more space on my home screen. I was moving icons around. And I thought, why yep. am I taking up a space with the camera icon? I can't remember the <laughs> the camera. I, I can't remember the last time I launched it that way. And then I just realized mm -hmm. how used to the action button I'd gotten. Yep. I read that post right before coming on today. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, I couldn't be without it now, I don't think. Um, <laughs> it's, it's so, yeah, it's, it's such a perfect use for a, a tactile button on a, on, on a mm -hmm. phone. 100%. I love it. Cool. So... Let's look at your home screen. And so it's, um, I assume you've got your one home screen and then you've got your app um, library to the to the right. Uh, I have two home screens. I didn't share a screenshot of the second one because it's mostly just a cluster of random things. That yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's all good. <laughs> <laughs> that's all good. Um, so I like the, um, obviously I can see you've got the, the uh, medium widget on the top there for carrot weather. And then you've got a gap, an intentional gap there. I do. Um, I like the aesthetic of it, but I can't get over. I could have some icons up there to, <laughs> to, to launch. Yeah, absolutely. There's there's two schools of thought, right? There's there's kind of the minimalist. Let me see a lot of my wallpaper. And then there's the more uh, practical. Look at those eight spots I could put icons. Exactly. <laughs> why do I? I've got the second page. Why, do, why don't I put them there? So... I definitely get it. I I think I personally just feel better with some open space on my home screen. I've always yeah. had open space on my home screen. I've never filled up the first page. Oh, okay. I've just never done it as long as I've had an iPhone. Well, it works well with that with that wallpaper, I think. Um, and and one thing as well, just just to like as an observation here is that obviously you're running iOS 18. Um, you've got the normal sized icons and text labels. Have you tried the larger ones? I have. I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the chunky icons. I think for whatever reason, maybe it's just 15 years or whatever of using an iPhone and I, I'm i used to them being a certain size. But yeah, they it just, they, they seem comically large to me. Um, so yeah, I've kind of stuck with the normal size icons. I would love to get rid of those labels if I could have small icons and no labels. But for whatever reason, that's technology we don't have maybe next year 
Like, I'm, here, I'm, nice, I'm, I'm yeah. hoping people have put in bug, you know, a, a ticket or whatever, you know, with that one with Apple, you know, as part mm-hmm. of the beta process. But they would have done it by now if it, if it was something they would they'd be doing. Yeah, not happening this year. No, but um, so carrot weather. That's cool. I, it's an app that I've used on and off. Um, then you've photos. That's no explaining there. I don't think I'm in there quite a lot. Um, I've gotten used yep. to iOS 18 camera um, photos app now, and I, I actually quite like it. Mm-hmm. Even though yeah, it's I, big I like change. it too. Yeah, I, I, they made some tweaks in one of the recent betas, and they I think they made it a little better. Um, the stuff below your library is less prominent, but it's still there. You can still get to it easily, and you can reorganize it. So I, I think it is pretty decent, but def- definitely good that they had the beta process. People gave feedback, and they made some changes. So I think it'll be better once it ships to everybody in uh, September. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, already looking forward to conversations with family members about where things have gone. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Safari, um, which I'm surprised... No, I'm either I'm surprised to see I'm either surprised to see it or I'm completely misreading what your icon in your dock is because I thought you would have had Arc on there. Oh yeah, I again. Do you have two hours to talk? <laughs> um, I love Arc on the Mac. I do not like it on the iPhone. Okay, it just doesn't work for me. They they kind of have a very opinionated. I guess everywhere it's very opinionated. Uh, yeah. Right on the desktop, you have to have left tabs. You have to like think all these things and like agree with their opinions on how browsing works to like it, and that happens to align with me. Mm. But on mobile, I don't like their browse with me feature, which gives me the ick, as I think you guys like to say. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I just. I, it's treated as something for people who like. Oh, all I do in my browser is Google things. All I do is search. Yeah. But like. I use my bookmarks more regularly. Same. I'm more like I have numerous pages that I regularly visit um, that are bookmarked and it just isn't built for that. It doesn't work as well for that. So yeah, I've, it just doesn't appeal to me particularly and Safari just is great. So that's okay. what I stick with. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I tried Arc on, on, I find it too cluttered and very AI driven on, on, uh, I'm in the process mm-hmm. of, of getting to know it basically. I, I've never used it okay. before. So. <laughs> um, threads. So that's another thing I've not gotten into yet. Part of it is my kind of, it's, 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 it's not as much as it used to be, but that kind of, not hatred against Facebook, I would say, but not wanting to give them um, data that they can make money from. I was trying mm-hmm. to take a, a kind of stance on not wanting to use their products, but I know threads may do me good for discovery on maybe this podcast and other things. So it's one of those things that I'm kind of thinking about at the moment, to be honest. Yeah, I- I, I would agree. I I use threads. Mastodon, which we'll talk about in a sec, is definitely my primary like place that I like to be. But I do kind of like you said, I'm slightly hedging my bets on like discoverability. I, like it's a it's a larger platform. It's better than Twitter. I, I deleted my Twitter account recently. Actually, yeah. that was fun. Yeah, well um, but yeah, uh, I don't know. I I do kind of like threads. I like the for you page sometimes because sometimes I like the reverse chronological fee that you get with like Mastodon, but other times I just want to see some fun stuff <laughs> that yeah. people I maybe don't know have posted. And I think Threads has gotten pretty decent at that uh, over the past uh, year or so. So yeah, it's on there. I use it enough to toss it on the home screen. Yeah, fair enough. And yeah, kind of dig it. Um, obviously, Apple Music. Um, I use Apple Music as well. Although I'm kind of rethinking that right now, but that's another um, <laughs> that's another blog post probably that's going to go up. Um, things you've used that for a long time, like me. Yeah, I think. it's great. App. Yeah, it's it's so good. I I keep trying alternatives, and like I I just I always come back to things. Like it's it's just me me and the developers just have a mind meld for how it should work, and I. You know, I'm in my I'm in my mid to late thirties. I don't I don't need to change every so yeah. often I, i'm okay being stuck in my ways a little bit <laughs> yeah especially when it's a great app like things. it's a great app yeah it's a, it's, it's a great app um claude my understanding of that is that it's um it's not chat gpt is it it's it's it is an ai type platform though right it's for helping to um things like making your writing better or you know these i don't want to say better but you know what i mean just just gives you a different yeah. view of, <laughs> of, of things that's right though isn't it yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. It is literally ChatGPT, but just with a different model, different company. 
Um, I personally like it a little bit more than ChatGPT. I think the okay. answers are better. I like their UI. It's kind of fun and like fancy in a way. Um, okay. That ChatGPT is a little more clinical. And uh, yeah, it also, I use this a lot. One of the use cases I have for it is I give it my, of the podcast you mentioned, uh, we record like an hour long podcast and I like help with show notes and like remembering what do we talk about? What products did we talk about? What things did I mention? Like, hey, I find a link in the show notes and I just forgot about it afterwards. So I feed it a transcript of our podcast and say, I basically say like, what products did we talk about? What did I say would be in the show notes? Yeah. And then list it out. And it does a really good job of giving me that so I can make sure my show notes are are solid but there's a bunch of little things i use it for um so yeah, yeah i threw it on the home screen that's cool um ivory obviously i use that that's for our mastodon um another really good app i think most people will have on their home screens it's so good yeah it's uh yeah that or mona but I, for whatever reason ivory is just it just feels so good to use every bit about it is just like so well made yeah. and like kind of similar to things. They don't add a million features. They're not constantly pushing updates no. um, like some other apps, but I really, it just feels like a really refined experience and is uh, the way I most enjoy using Mastodon. So yeah, yeah I'm very happy it exists. And I would like, now I'm not going to say like myself, but I would assume that's your main or go to social network. I would guess these days. It is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the place I'm most active. It's the place I'm most... Yeah, that's where everything goes. <laughs> well, um, YouTube, for obvious reasons. I mean, do, uh, you, do you watch a lot of YouTube on your phone? Um, I... <sighs> oh, that's a good question. I don't actually watch a ton of YouTube on my phone, but I do... So I tend to... I probably use it more on my phone as a triage system so i subscribe to like 200 youtube channels okay um which is giving numerous people anxiety i'm sure listening to this but <laughs> i subscribe to just a ton of when do we get to my rss reader um i subscribe to a ton of youtube channels and i basically just browse the subscriptions page on my phone and i'll save things to watch later right and then okay. i'll on my tv is where i tend to watch most youtube and i'll go through the watch later queue um on my tv but okay. so i don't watch a ton but i do see what people posted and save it from there i'd that, say that's a good that's 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 a good idea i quite often i'll forget what about i'll completely forget about watch later mm -hmm. and i'll just go down rabbit holes so <laughs> I, I need to do that i need to start right and i need to start saving stuff off to that um so okay so so that cool that's so that's the, the main home screen what we're going to do is look at obviously your, your your doc now so the first app there needs no introductions just messages um no um signal or anything like that or is that that's no it yeah i mean here i've tried to get my friends and family to use signal in the past i've tried to get them on whatsapp it just doesn't work no i can't explain the irrationality of us americans we uh <laughs> we just love our green bubble <laughs> yeah no i think it is even though we hate them it's definitely a like over here I think WhatsApp is probably the most popular platform. I don't personally use it, but what my family will do. Um, mm -hmm. And I use Signal for mainly my friends who are on Android. That's that's how we that's yep. how we communicate normally. Um, your RSS reader, that's Reader, isn't it? That one. It so, is Reader. Um, it's only Greatest the star that gives time. it away. I was. It, you've got kind of like a leather book t type um, icon, which I quite like. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, they, they've got like a gray icon now, but I this is one of their alternate icons, which I think is their like classic for like, it's, I think this was the icon for Reader 3, and now they're on Reader 5. Okay. But uh, yeah, I just dig it. There, I, there's too many like black icons with an icon or with like a logo on it, and I just wanted something that was a little more colorful. So yeah, it's with the uh, old school one. Yeah, it's good. I mean, I, I used it for a long time, but I found that my sync use in iCloud was very unreliable it was very I was either very slow or it would just drop subscriptions so I yeah. switched over to Net this... Newswire okay has that been working out for you 100% I haven't had any sync problems with nice. it whatsoever excellent um, yeah this is the, the number one thing I hear about Reader is that everyone who has issues with it or most people who have issues with it are the people who use its kind of built-in iCloud sync mm. I use I know Reader as my back end because I even though I use Reader everywhere I like the a idea that i could <laughs> switch if i wanted to yeah um i used unread for a while recently and is just able to switch seamlessly but um 
yeah, I know Reader Sync is just fantastic. So that's always worked for me. But yeah, I, I don't have experience with the iCloud uh, sync option they've got. So this next one, I'm either going to look really stupid and not with it, or I'm going to guess completely. <laughs> uh, is it ChatGPT? It's not ChatGPT. Okay. I don't use see, I don't use the, I, that's, the, <laughs> that's the only thing I can think of looking at that icon for some reason. Mm -hmm. What is that one? Yeah. So this is Superhuman. Oh, which is <laughs> I know about you the and, most yeah. expensive email client <laughs> I can find. Um, I've used it for a few months. I did a video about it on YouTube, and my plan was to cancel my subscription after the video. Yeah, but I haven't done that yet, <laughs> and I like I know I can't rationalize this. Every time I see the price, I'm like, well, this is unbelievably ridiculous. But then. I use the app and it's not for, I'm sure it's not for everybody and it's certainly not worth $30 a month, everybody, but I like the app and I don't want to get rid of it. So I'm in a <laughs> weird space right now. We've recorded this podcast in a, in a limbo period where I can't spend this money, but I also don't want to get rid of this app. Yeah, And so there it is in the doc. <laughs> and I occasionally see you and Chris going at it on Mastodon talking about it. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, Chris Lawley uh, does not like Superhuman, <laughs> to say the least. He thinks it's a cult. He thinks they're weird. <laughs> yeah, you did an episode, right? It was. Uh, I remember. I remember a comfort zone. We were talking about it too. Um, yeah. Mm, yeah, I kind of don't want to get started on something that I may be sucked into, especially for that amount of money. That's got two Apple Music family plans. That is. That's sixteen pounds a it, month. It's, yeah. it's insane. My cell phone service is twenty five dollars a month. It's more expensive than my cell phone service. Like that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's it. Oh, it's it. Yeah, it's it's bananas. But I but I do like the app. So uh, well, yeah, I'm in a weird spot. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then that next one is actually one that I'm using too, and that's Pocket Casts, isn't it, for your podcast player? Yeah, yeah. If if we talked any time in the past five years it would have been overcast yeah same and the yeah the latest up the, the issue for me in the latest update was it completely broke sync between my devices and i i, I seem to not, i seem to be one of the only people who have had this happen but like it just didn't sync and i've tried all the troubleshooting things it doesn't work for me anymore and it, i sound like a crazy person but it doesn't sync anymore. <laughs> you know, I've had so, I've had a similar issues yeah. to be honest. With, okay. with the okay. reason I stopped using it was it was nothing to do with the UI changes whatsoever because um, you could go in and pretty much change the settings and put it back to pretty much how it looked before. Yeah. But exactly, sync wasn't working for me. So, but huh. it was either okay. that I, something would sync on one of my other devices and wouldn't sync on my phone. But the main problem I had was every single I won't say every single, but almost all the downloads were suddenly about 20 times slower than they should be. Huh. So when it Weird. sunk to my phone, the download speed was slow. It would either get to like 30% and fail, or it would just go really, 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 really slowly. So I hmm. I looked at what I'd purchased in the past and, and put Pocket Casts on there. And I love the UI in that app now. You know, the, the, the kind of cover, not the, what do they call it? It's like um, tile view, isn't it, almost, of all the podcasts. And it's got an mm -hmm. icon for how many and listen to. And I, I, I've just gotten really used to the, the UI now of Pocket Cast. So I, I really enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. So Pocket Cast is definitely, it, currently it's my choice. I'm really hoping Marco kind of gets some good updates out and I can go back to Overcast. Because I think I do prefer Overcast overall, but just it's not in a state where I felt like I could use it at the moment, which is such a shame. And I, I yeah. hate to like even say that because I'm... I un I have a lot of sympathy for developers, like even like the the famous like quote unquote famous ones in our niche. Like they're 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 generally good people trying to get by. <laughs> like yeah. I don't want to like pile on. No, um, no, I agree. But yeah, yeah, it certainly is not done on purpose. And and you know, for me, I I I I would probably go back to it too. Um, I do have it installed, and I do check in with it every now and again. But. Mm -hmm. it, the biggest thing missing for me is the um, what do they call it? You know, where they the takes out the silences between conversation. Smart speed, uh, is it? smart speed, yeah. smart speed, yeah. And, and I notice I can notice it now on 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 podcasts whenever I'm listening to something and there's any sort of delay between a conversation someone's thinking mm. or that gap is very immediate to me now. Um, okay, interesting. <laughs> I might I might try Overcast after this actually just to see if it's 
sorted that download issue. But yeah, like you said, I mean, everyone's doing their best and, and there's no reason to pile on people. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so home, it's a home screen podcast. I got to be honest, I'm not shaping my home screen to tell a narrative. So nope. that's what it was when we recorded the episode. <laughs> so that's what it is. <laughs> no, so cool. Thank you. That's um, we, We've gone through all of your apps on that page now. So yeah, appreciate appreciate you coming on. Um, everyone's busy. So yeah, like I said, any 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 time I can get with people, I'm really appreciative of. So, so thank you for that, Matt. Yeah, of um, course. So, I guess that to round off, then I just want to ask: Is where can where's the best place for people to get hold of you online? Oh, ah, it's a tough question. Um, I the the best place to see what I'm working on, I guess, is my website, Birchtree.me. Uh, that's where I'll post everything that I I'm doing. Um, and if you want to hit me up on social media, I'm. Well, we'll put links in. It's it's hard to say Mastodon handles on it is. here, so I'll put, <laughs> put a link in the description, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Um, well. Or on Threads, I'm Matt Birchler. So cool, nice and easy. Thank you. Th thanks again, Matt. And um, yeah, cheers, everybody. Thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing, and I'll speak to you in the next episode.